Atlantis 519 and today we will be talking about Theme Park Tycoon 2. It's a bit different to Miner's Haven as I probably talked about in that video because Miner's Haven you can place stuff where you want. Actually in this one you can as well but it's a tiny bit different. Well I I really don't know the similarities between them because they seem quite similar. So let's get started. I'm going to start a new game because I anyway haven't got a game that I've started on here before. So we let's skip tutorial. There, although there is a tutorial if you want to go on it, but. So here are our customers and they all seem pretty bored, don't they? And plus there's a load of garbage on the floor or trash. You have to click to clean it up and it looks so weird. Because it looks like you're putting your head in it. It's weird. So the first thing I want to tell you about is the controls, which you, you probably know. Um, the arrow keys, or slash WASD to move, I, and by slash I mean OR, and I mean OR, not ORE, because there is no ORE in this game. Apparently I have a load of money. The WASD is a bit kind of convenient, but I like to use the arrow keys though when you do when you try to strafe right, which means move right, it actually turns your the camera right like that. Then the other controls are that there, there is a little hot bar at the bottom here. There is rides, stores, scenery, paths, terrain, picker, whatever that is, and painter and destroy. The first thing you really want to go with is paths. Now you might not see think it's there there is trash cans because people will always always be just chucking trash everywhere and i mean everywhere it's really annoying and if you want to stop you press this button On here it actually tells you what the paths are um, and stuff like that. So there is, you could change the primary colour which I didn't know you could do actually. And you can make it red, beautifully red apparently. So what you do want to do after the trash cans is place some stores, of course. Um, I just destroy that. So, what stores do are they give your um customers food or maybe cool hats or something. The one you should place down first, well, there's not really anything to do that. I guess the cheapest, well, actually, the, the most less cheap, it will probably be better. Actually, pizza is quite good, so I'm placing that down. So that there are all the stores, but other stores, you, there's toilets, 
which just toilet room. Um, there's hat places like the Dino Hat. I like the Dino Hat. Um, the Pirate Hat, the Santa Hat, and the Witch Hat. The Dino Hat is the cheapest thing. So what you, those are the things you should definitely place down first with your stalls. So the next thing is um, the scenery, which there's a cartoony tree if any, if you want it. It's very hard to place these down these cartoony trees because. Well, everything's hard to place down on the um, computer. But you can make loads of stuff on your Xbox. Loads of beautiful stuff. Well, I didn't know you could do that, guys. So Q and E are hotkeys to just move left and right. Um, so there is actually quite a lot of decorations that you may want to place down. So really I, rec I recommend trying to not place so much down. But the hedge arch is something you need. You definitely need it. So when you do this, oh. So you place it there and people can walk through it. It looks a bit nicer though. And next thing is you can actually change the name of your park so you can say for example um you can say minecraft if you want to you can do anything i'm gonna put harry potter i don't really know why I have got another one called Harry Potter as well. I wonder why that happened. So let's do that again. Let's call it, no, let's call it HP because it's Harry Potter. Look, HP, that's what it's called. See, it appeared here. And there is a star chart at the top here. Um, and that tells you how good your park is. And mine is not very good at the moment because it's got no stars. I still haven't cleaned up the trash though. It's really funny. So the next thing is paths, which we've probably talked about, but there is a load of different paths. There's cobblestone, wooden, planks, marble, pebble, metal plates, concrete. I think there's gold here. And I don't know about that one though. But there, yeah, I haven't seen that one, but that one is gold and that's a brick and that's fabric. And then the rest are all down here. And these, you've got to see how cool these are. 
I mean, you've got to see how cool they are. They're like floating. You can actually make um, a special thing if you want. Like maybe doing that. Like a bridge over water. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? But I'm not doing that. I'm just going to destroy them all. Because we don't really want them, do we? So, our park at the moment is not really a theme park. So, why don't we add some rides? There is a load of rides here. There's intense. There's more intense than gentle for some reason. There's a, the plane ride. I don't know if I've seen that one before. No, I've not seen that one. There's a Ferris wheel, there's a spiral slide, a carousel and teacups. Um, intense rides are actually quite popular. And, oh, I've not seen the rocking disc yet. But the fireball is really cool because the it just goes round and round and round and round and round and round. It just it's just like it never stops, but it it soon stops, but it'll make you sick, definitely. So why don't we build a ride? So that's the entrance and that is the exit. So now we have to place a special kind of path down called a Q path. They're, they're exactly the same types. You can do that. Um, it's all brick now, by the way, because of that. It's really weird. So you can actually go over some um, like this, but I, I don't do it because it just wastes your money a bit. So that's how you do it. So people go in like that. And then they can, you can even go on the ride if you want, but I forgot how. Oh, it's F. It says it above. And F is also toggle camera, which is very cool. So you can actually change the colors of objects, as I told you. So for example, you can make these seats red and make this purple. Actually, that looks nice. I grew up. I'm going to put it to that. It looks nice to me. Oh, and let's put a bit of black in there as well. Oh, no, no. Let's do a green stud, shall we? Doesn't that look nice? So, let's... What do you think the window colour should be? I think it should be yellow. Weird. They're not actually windows, but it's just the inside of the metal frame. It looks quite weird. Wow. That looks like a colourful ride. Supports. I don't see a support. So I don't think you should do it on the drop tower. Because there's not really a reason. It's just wasting your time, kind of. So, shall we open it and see how the customers react and want to go in the queue, but they actually are really, really rubbish at sense, at sense of direction, so they just can't do it. Okay, I deleted all the customers. Mwahahaha. Well... It's not really more ha 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 ha. 
And the thing I wanted to do is maybe make the path a bit nicer. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. So maybe you can, you could um, do the past different colours. And look, this person called Layla, I think, is going on this ride. Shall we go? And let's toggle the camera so you can see what actually happens. Doesn't it look amazing, guys? Look how far up we are. Look what happens in a minute. You just drop and it's really epic. So look, you get the achievement getting started. The next thing is that you should definitely look at is customer um, feedback. Look, so there is their feedback and this is how they are. Now what you should do is definitely put some drink stalls. He's getting very thirsty. And he's quite tired. And also in paths, if you didn't know, there's lanterns. And there's torches. Which look pretty awesome. But I always put a light or something. I like these lights as well, they're quite bright. And these look very modern. I mean, those look modern. So, with lights, there is a few different settings you, you might not have seen in the other ones, as you might know, because lights brightness i always put to full range i always put to full like that so it lights up a giant area and then we can change its color who shall we turn it to a zombie green or a sky blue or a dark brown actually that looks quite cool that doesn't even look like it's generating any light but it looks really good i mean look at that it's kind of this orangey tint on the light and it's really cool check also there is a way to have a look at someone else's theme park if you ever wanted to. Just go across the road. You don't even have to move, it just carries you. Bern Park, this is called. And I mean, look at what this guy's done. He's just made everything so awesome. He's got a little teacups ride. He's got a witch hat still. He's got like, everything and he's got a giant fountains and not just that he's got this amazing nautic jet ride i used to have this it's amazing even in roblox if you ride it it's absolutely amazing but it looks like our characters got stuck so we need to reset See, this is where we died. Here's our park. And look how much money we've got. We've got quite a lot already. We're getting a load. Oh my gosh, somebody's called Cannon. So, you could actually change the colour of these bricks as well. Somehow. Weird. Again. There it is, look at that. 
It's a beautiful colour. I want this to be a bright white. Actually, I'm going to change these paths to something else, shall we? Oh, there. So, that's pretty much all the stuff done, and I'll show. Now I will show you how to make the best park in the world. Well, not the best park in the world, but a starter park that you might like. So, this is a starter park at the moment, but it's not got very much. So, we'll do an upgraded starter park, shall we? So, and you can change the colours of stuff if you want to, like this. And that really makes a difference, you know. It makes your part look much nicer. And it just really does it. It really does it. And look at the roads now. It's all marble white. It's beautiful. So, and I mean, look how many people are coming on this ride. And look how many people are here. There's actually 17 already. So, how to make a starter park. There is also the terrain tool as well, which I forgot to talk about, which, if you didn't know, is you can raise terrain and do stuff like that. And you can make water the, the best thing in the world. So, if you do this, oh, I don't know why it's done that guys though, but it doesn't really matter. So you can make water, as you can see which was as quick as a flash and look at that it looks quite beautiful well i mean quite good and you can even swim in it but i don't recommend that because you usually have to reset your character so now, what you should do is definitely put ice at the bottom. Well, it's quite hard to do because, well, as you can see, it just... You need to get under the water to do it. There we go. Well, it doesn't matter that much, but you can do it like that. That's the perfect way to do it. See? So, that is how to make a lake and you can also make stuff like this might make a little deserty thing here and there maybe it's quite annoying though so that is basically all the controls and we'll make a starter theme park. 
So, first thing you need to do is definitely add a one more ride. Definitely roller coasters or water rides. Or tra not transportation rides though, they're a bit boring. They don't do anything really. So, Log Flume is one of my favourite rides in real life. So, I, I think th this is one of the best ones to do. And also, it actually makes a splash, if you didn't know. Here, even in Roblox, it makes a giant splash. So, this, is, I've not explained to you. It's a special roller coaster building, special thing. And it's quite cool. So, you, when you want to turn, you actually have to do a flat and then do that. And then you can make a real dive down. But I can't do that at the moment, so let's remove what we've got. So we'll build a bit more and then we flat and then we do, uh, does that work, that dive down? No, it doesn't. We need to make it a bit higher. So, here we go, we can remove that piece and make it go up a bit more, and then we'll just do a dive down. Oh, does that actually work? So, I, that is the basic controls of this. And so I, oh no, it does chain lift by itself. I didn't know that actually. And then you can go down. And then you do another one. And then do a sharp turn. And then do Uh, start up. Try and replicate what's on the other side, and I mean, do the same thing. I mean, so we've nearly done here. And there we go. We've done, though it is a bit awkward because it's on the other side here. There we go. Now all we need to do is make a path just leading to that. Now if we destroy this, then let's make a fabric path, a very nice fabric path going to here. So it will be a very long queue, I think, for log flume. So I recommend just making it a bit longer than regular. I mean normal. So that's it doesn't go wrong. 
So that people don't have to queue up behind the actual queue, which would be a bit weird. So, shall we change the colours? No, not that. Let's put that red. So, shall we turn the logs red? No. Put it to a nice brown like that. And the definite thing you should do is, oh, train length is only one, so there isn't a point of doing two stations, so don't copy me. And if you can see, the support colour can be purple, or has it even turned to purple? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it does anything to me. No, it doesn't. So if you try and do that. Oh, there we go. Now it works. I think we should do this, this blue. That's cool, isn't it? So now, um, we can open the ride. And there we go. People will now be able to come. But the last thing you need to do to make a starter park is to add a soft drink store. Because, I mean, everyone likes Coca-Cola. Well, not everybody, but they like fizzy drinks. Most people. So you should definitely place one of those down. And if people are thirsty... Definitely think about that as well, because you need to add one of those. Last thing is trash cans, which we talked about at the start of the video. And they basically just um, pick up people's trash. People walk through them, you know. It's really weird. So, that's the end of today's episode, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!